In the recycling industry, any scrap or discarded material can be transformed into a useful and valuable product. This transformation does not necessarily have any direct connection to the original material. For example, in this video, we demonstrate the process of manufacturing high-quality aluminum cookware from everyday beverage cans. Yes, don't be surprised, recycling in the industry is this fascinating, a simple aluminum can is transformed into a high-quality cookware piece. A very large number of beverage cans are poured into the furnace to be melted. After the material is completely melted, it is poured into large molds, impurities are removed, and it is allowed to cool until the molds solidify. The cold, heavy aluminum ingots are placed back into the furnace to be melted again. After melting, any remaining impurities are removed by the workers, and the material is poured into molds of different shapes. For easier use, these molds are cast into smaller sizes, with a square shape and reduced thickness, from the melted aluminum. After some time, they are cooled until the molds solidify and are ready to be removed. The resulting material from this process can have a wide range of industrial applications and can be used in various forms. Countless products can be made from it, and the shape of the mold depends on the type of work being done. These aluminum sheets are passed through the rolling mill multiple times, becoming progressively thinner until reaching their minimum thickness, and the initial preparations are completed. Once the desired thickness is reached, the sheets are cut and transformed into smaller pieces. These sheets undergo multiple rolling and cutting processes until reaching the final product, and speed in performing these operations is very important. The sheets are placed under a powerful press, where pressure transforms them into the shape of the cookware, the mold under the machine determines the final shape of the cookware. The excess parts are trimmed once again, bringing the product closer to its final shape. From this stage onward, the cookware pieces are manually trimmed several times, and both the inside and outside are precisely machined by skilled workers. From the first to the final stage of production, fully automated advanced machines are not used, and the resulting product is entirely handcrafted. Each stage is carried out by a dedicated skilled worker, using human labor and very basic, old machinery. This machine corrects any warping or bending of the cookware and straightens its edges by applying high pressure. The edges of the cookware are precisely trimmed using a vertical hydraulic shear to ensure a perfect fit for the lid. The process follows the steps described above, and work must be performed quickly to achieve the desired daily output from the workshop. For this reason, the workers operate at a high pace. Our workpiece is secured on this machine, which rotates it internally, creating lines and abrasion on the shiny aluminum surface, scraping it and turning it into a matte finish. From this stage onward, one of the main processes begins, anodizing the cookware. Here, the cookware pieces are placed in an acid or alkaline solution for degreasing, then rinsed with water and immersed in clean water to remove any remaining impurities.
After cleaning and rinsing, the cookware pieces are secured and placed into a tank filled with acid, where an electric current initiates the anodizing process. This creates a protective layer of aluminum oxide on the surface, strengthening both the cookware and the final product. After completing these steps, the pieces are rinsed again to stop the anodizing process, and then they are exposed to air to dry. At this point, over 70% of the process has been completed, with the remaining steps including pattern creation, packaging, and assembly of components such as handles and lids. After creating patterns and designs on the cookware, two holes are made in the body to attach the handle. The handle base is attached to the cookware using two rivets and a press, and the plastic handle is secured onto the base with screws and nuts. Meanwhile, the manufacturer's brand label is applied to the cookware. After the cookware itself is manufactured, the final stages of assembly take place, where some steps are repeated. These processes may appear familiar to you. At this stage, after molding and polishing, the cookware reaches its final shaping. The pieces are placed on an iron mold, and under the pressure of a hydraulic press, they take their final form. Then the previous steps are repeated, machining, trimming, attaching the plastic handle, and finally fitting the lid with the body and completing the assembly. The holes made on the lid are for attaching the handle and knob, the lid support, and for air intake and outlet, as you will see in the upcoming stages. Okay. 
Dear friends, our video is almost over. If you are interested in this type of content, be sure to like the video and share your thoughts about this process in the comments. We would also be happy if you use the share option to send the video to your friends. I invite you to watch the remaining final stages, and may God keep you safe.